And now, an exclusive inside look at HBC's original series, The Bible, Game of Thorns. Series creator, God. We owe so much to our fans. They are really what motivate us to, to put together a, a TV show that can be as, as good as the book, and, and in some cases, even better. Yeah, a hardcore fan of the series. Uh, seen every episode, but reading the books would just ruin it. The books are so much better than the TV show. There's more story, there's more character development, there's just more everything. I know most of it by heart. You've got book readers and you've got people that have only watched the TV show. Um, they, they, they come at it with, with two totally different points of views and, and uh, our goal with the TV show is to, by the end of it, every, everybody's gonna have a new experience and, and just be thrilled. Um, we've got plagues, we've got, uh, we've got wars, we've got frogs coming from the sky. We've got guys taking little tablets and putting them under their tongue and writing down everything that they see. Uh, we've got, we've got uh, horsemen on, with swords and, and, and great beasts and new monsters, prophets and demons and even a little bit of uh, brief nudity that I know everybody likes. The good people at HBC have given us uh, unlimited freedom to uh, go in directions that, uh, that we always wanted to take the book. The uh, locations that we shot out are, are absolutely some of the best that uh, we've ever captured on film before. Um, they've just been a, a wonderful uh, company to work with and uh, they really have uh, the viewers uh, best interest at heart. Just had so much pressure to finish the books and finish the books and finish the books and now that I'm just about got that behind me it's really gonna really gonna knock your socks off you know I think a lot of people would assume that for me to get a role like this that, that God and I go pretty far back but the truth is is we really don't know each other very well and I never even read the books so you can imagine my astonishment when at the end of this season um, I was killed off as the main character and boy I tell you what in, in ugly fashion too <laughs> but you know that that's really that's that's really the the meat of a story like this is you just never know what's gonna happen next it's never gonna go exactly like the original story you know TV's a different medium it's a, it's a whole different cast of characters and um, you know maybe I'll be brought back you never know When I got the call to play Judas, I jumped at the opportunity. A lot of people see uh, Judas as this villain, you know, it's just just horrible character in the Bible. And uh, to me, I, I see more of a struggle going on with Judas, and, and that's what makes him more human. Uh, I've read all the books. I've actually read it, I think, uh, two or three times. And um, a lot of people call it the good book. I call it the great book. That's how big of a fan I am. So I was surprised that uh, such a fanboy like me actually got uh, the role of Judas. But I think I was actually the third Judas cast. Um, one, the guy that plays Jesus hated him, so he was actually let go. And then the other one got hit by a car. A lot of people uh, dislike Judas, but the thing about Judas is he has uh, a role to play, a pivotal role to play. But I think when it's all said and done, you know, the Judas' story is really going to tell us uh, more about who we are inside. Because I think each of us has a Judas, really. I've always looked at the Bible, the books, and, and Bible, the TV shows as, as two completely different experiences. And, and just because somebody dies in the books doesn't doesn't mean that they won't live in in, in the TV show and 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 I, and I think that most of our most of our fans get that and, and, and they can appreciate that it's two different but uh, equally compelling stories a lot of newbies to the Bible are gonna really enjoy what we have on the TV show and especially people that have read the Bible I think it's uh, gonna blow them away as well because God will come in with these scripts and I'm like whoa this is completely different from the book um, so, you know, here's hoping that I don't die at the start of season two. Just bought a house, you know? Oh, spoiler alert, mate. Spoiler alert. You know, I know there are a lot of those hardliners. They, they love the books. And I understand that. You know, a classic is a classic for a reason. But I think that this is a fresh new perspective for a younger generation 
who've never had that exposure to the Bible. You know, they don't know the story. They don't. They don't, they don't feel the warmth of it. It's. It's. It's their daddy's Bible, you know. And this is an opportunity for people to get some action, get some adventure, and as Big Guy points out, like a little sexy time in there, you know, just to spice things up. But if this story is going to live on for eternity, you know, we got to crank it up to the next level. And I, I think that's exactly what this series does. The Bible Game of Thorns returns this summer only on HBC.